Hey everyone, Mark Montgomery here with Great College Advice and we're going over the common application prompts for that all-important personal statement on the common application. So we're looking now at the prompt that is the accomplishment, the event, the realization that led to personal growth. So let's read the prompt together and then pull it apart. Discuss an accomplishment, event, or realization that sparked a period of personal growth and a new understanding of yourself and others. Hmm. So, discuss an event, an accomplishment, or a realization. Discuss. Tell me a story. Remember, you have to tell me a story. What happened? What was this accomplishment? What was the event? What was happening when you had this aha moment and this realization that, oh, hey, wait. I like to think of this prompt as the before and after prompt. So you were going along this way, bloop, 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 bing, something happens. And then bing, 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 bing. New realization, the new you. You accomplish this thing, you had some certain, some event, or you just had that, oh, Eureka! I get it now. I understand why things are the way they are. I get it. So that's what you're looking for. The before and the after. And you're going to tell the story of the before up until the time that you went, aha! And then your reflection is, tell me more about what it is to be the new you, based on this realization, this event, this accomplishment that led you to see the world in a new and different way. So we could also think of this as the transformational prompt. You transformed yourself. You were the you were the little caterpillar and then you're gonna go along and you make it that chrysalis and then you come out the other side as a butterfly. Right? So that's kind of what we're thinking about here. The event does not have to be a big, humongous event. A lot of what students will latch onto are things that are rites of passage, official rites of passage in their lives. It might be the bar mitzvah, bat mitzvah. It might be uh, first communion or a confirmation in, a, in a Catholic tradition or other Christian traditions. It might be getting your driver's license because we, those are things that a lot of us go through. Um, a, a rite of passage, right? High school graduation is a rite of passage, and that's a big event, it's accomplishment, but it hasn't happened yet, so you can't really talk about it for your essay because it hasn't even ha happened yet. So, and even if it were, had happened, I don't know if it's the best event to talk about. Not for your college essay, anyway. So what kind of event could it be? And I think the best way is to tell a story about a young man that I worked with a while back. He was a kid from Hong Kong and he and his mom were in a hotel room in Japan and they were traveling in Japan just on vacation and uh, this young man's father had been married previously to another woman and had had another son. So my, my young man, um, let's call him Norman, um, Norman had a half-brother who was much older and the half-brother was kind of a pain in the neck and both his mother and his father were constantly struggling to figure out how to handle the half-brother. So flash forward to this hotel room where Norman and his mother are staying and Norman's mother's on the phone with his dad and they're actually having an argument about what to do about the half-brother. And it's emotional, right? They're getting into it and they're, ar they're arguing about it. Now, it's not a terrible, you know, that they're gonna get a divorce or something like that, but they're, they're, it's very passionate and they're really trying to figure out what to do about this half-brother. And so the mother gets off the phone and she's crying and she puts the receiver down and she turns to Norman, my student, who's, what, 16 years old, and starts to unload and say, I don't know what to do. What do you think I should do? I am so frustrated. I don't, you know, this brother is a pain in the neck and your father thinks this and I think this. What do you think we should do? And Norman is just like, what? 
I'm 16 years old. You're my mom. I'm the person who comes to you for s consolation and solace and, and you know reassurance. And now what? You're coming to me? What? This is upside down. I don't understand. What? And then he started to reflect on it. He's like, oh, well, this is kind of what's going to happen. The older I get, the more my parents are going to start treating me as an adult. And they're actually going to rely on me more. And maybe, you know, our roles will switch when my parents are really old. And they actually need me to help manage their affairs because that's kind of how the circle of life works, you know. The circle of life. Okay, so this was good. And the circle of life, I mean, you may, you may scoff, but I think that often if there is some sort of an event or some sort of a accomplishment or thing that happens in your life that connects you with the circle of life, that can be a really good essay because you're like, oh, yeah. That's how human relationships work, or that's how life works. That is something about life that I'm not, I'm not actually altogether excited about that. That maturity, that self-understanding, that hooking yourself into the human experience, that can be really fantastic. If you can bring about that, that realization, that again, that before, and then you have this little chrysalis experience, like the hotel room in Japan, and then, oh my gosh, I didn't think about that before. And that is really interesting, and things are going to be different. Think about those times when you've, had, when you've had really big experiences that have made a big difference in your life. And again, they don't have to be monumental, right? They can be that conversation in a hotel room that leads to something more. It can be another one of my students, um, very close to his grandmother and spent most every summer with his grandmother. But one summer more recently, he went to spend time with his grandmother and she had aged appreciably over a year. She'd been ill, he hadn't seen her, she'd been ill and she was much more frail. And whereas before, when he remembers the, you know, the, the, the way his grandmother really was a, was a rock for him as a growing up, he was starting to realize as he was helping to carry the groceries and helping to do more around the house and being a much more responsible person that he was actually supporting his grandmother much more than he had in the past. And he, he saw this, this switch happening in his life and he started to realize that, oh, well, that's the circle of life. This is what happens is the, the, older take care of the younger, but then time passes and yeah, things flip. So those can be really great, great essays. So think about those aha moments, those big events where you were before and then transformed into something new and different and you have a new realization. But you gotta tell the story and you gotta reflect. Why was this such an important event for you? So. Have fun with this one. This can get really, really deep, really, really fast, but that's good because if you get deep, then I'm gonna understand more about you and your, your values, the things you care about, what's important to you and your maturity. So go for it, dig in, have fun. See you on the next video.